Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Today I thought I'd give you just a quick little tutorial. I had a couple people ask me how to open up this easel, what it is, because they don't know how to use it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to like open this thing up, use it on a table or you know, because this is a traveling one. So you can take it, it's like a little briefcase. You can take it with you to a park, to your backyard, mountains. Um, it has adjustable legs. That way, if you're uneven, on uneven ground, you can like adjust them if there's like, you know, uneven ground. So it's perfect for traveling and painting outside. Also a good tip before you take it out on a trip, if you have weak fingers, um, get yourself a little pair of pliers and just stick it in the drawer and keep it with you when you're traveling with this thing because it might be hard sometimes to tighten those bolts and things or loosen them up once you do tighten them quite a bit. So a little bit of pliers is very helpful. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have it here. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna close it right here. So these little side ones right here are just gonna plop it down like that. And then, oops, things are falling. Up here are just these little like latches like you would have on a briefcase and they just close. And now you can just pick it up by the handle. Now it's like a little briefcase. And now I'm gonna show you how to open it back up into like a standing position if you're outside, outdoors, and you're gonna be standing at it or sitting at it, but you need to open up the legs. So there's three legs, guys. There's one in the back, and there's two right here on the sides, the long ones that are sticking out. Those are your legs. So what you can do first is loosen up this little bolt and stick that leg out. <laughs> Don't let it hit you in the face. Um, make sure it's nice and tight and then do the other side. You don't have to be holding this up like I am. I'm just doing this right here so, so you guys can see better. Tighten it back up. All right, so now I'll take out the back one. The back one just pulls out like that. Super nice and easy. You can tighten this little screw here to make that nice and tight. It is gonna be like a little wobbly here. There is a screw in there as well. You can tighten up. That's why pliers come in handy because it's a little hard sometimes getting in those little spaces. So that tightened that up. And now loosen this little tiny one up. Extend your leg. There you go. Almost done. Now turn it back around because that leg is for the back. Now you're gonna open up these legs. So you're gonna loosen up these bolts right here on the bottom. Pull this leg out and lay it down. Make sure it fits into these little grooves here and then tighten the back up. It might not fit, fit completely and you're gonna tighten this back up um, better when it's standing up. But for now, just kind of do your best. So leg out, down. Make sure you have a lot of space around you too. If it's a tight area, it might be a little tricky. So tighten it back up as much as you can before you stand it up. And then you can adjust that little angle a little bit better once you get it down. All right. That's good, it kind of fell into place. This one needs to be tightened a little more. Once you pick it up, it falls into place better. So hold it by its handle and then just hoist it up on those two front legs and then pull the back leg out and position it like all the way out, stretch it out. Make sure you tighten that up, that middle bolt right there. And make sure these are tight so it doesn't collapse on you. Make sure these are nice and tight so it doesn't get wobbly. And there you go. It's standing up. Let me show you a bit better. <laughs> All right, so now it is up. 
You can of course just stand at it like a desk and paint like that. Whatever, whatever your preference is. Or you can lift it up. So again, those little latches right here, just open them up, lift it up. If it's not lifting up, loosen these little tiny things right here on the sides. And then lift it up, tighten the back up, tighten the other side, and you're done. That's it. Now, if you have stuff in here, you might have to rearrange it so that there's like room for it to open. And now, your drawer will open, yay! All right, so this is it. So right behind this, is a little tiny one you can loosen up to and lift this up. If you are painting like a big canvas, it goes up pretty high. It can hold a pretty good canvas, good sized canvas. So there's that. Um, you can loosen these side ones, these right here, and that will allow you to lift the whole thing up if you need it higher, if you're short, you know? <laughs> Or, I mean, if you're taller, um, I need to lift it higher. So that's adjustable. And that's, that comes in handy quite a bit. I use that. And I think that's about it. Um, there's these front ones that stick out. I think this is more for, like, carrying your canvases. So, like, if you have a couple canvases, Let's say like that, and you're traveling with this, you can, you can like push it back down and it'll hold them in place. Like that. And then, well, this won't go down any further, right? No. But then they won't move. I don't know. I really don't know, guys, what this is for. You know what I use it for? I flip it the other way actually and I extend it out this is what I do I don't know if that's what it's for and I don't really care but <laughs> that's what I do with mine I take it out I always paint my edges on my paintings because I just like my edges painted so when I do my edge especially on the bottom I then set it on just those two little metal things that way it has more room down here to dry the paint so it's not sitting on this and getting stuck to it it's sitting on the little metal things and that way it has a lot more air to dry so that's what i do all right that's it now i'm going to show you how to take it down quickly and then we're going to put it back up on the table and that'll be it all right so taking it down is a little tricky it was a little scary at first when i tried it because it's like oh my gosh it's all gonna just like fall down because you know it's, it's it feels wobbly, but it, it's really not. It'll it'll hold, guys. Three legs is better than none, and this is this is pretty good. So one, as long as you have everything nice and really tight. Um, so to take it back down, you just do the opposite of what we just did. So we untighten these side ones, lay it down, and make sure to close the little latches. So it's nice and tight in here. Close this one back up. Make sure you tighten everything back up so it's not all like flopping around on you. Especially if you're like carrying it. Um, these I'll leave. Okay, make sure your drawer is not opening. And then hold it by your little handle and tip it forward. Try not to break your legs. So lift it up as you're tipping it forward. So loosen up this one. Push that little leg back in. Sometimes they get a little sticky. You might have to loosen it up a little more go tighten it back up so it's not falling out you can loosen this little middle one if it's too tight loosen it just a little bit and then fold this whole thing in there just snap it in I do this part first right here on the side can you see right here oh you can set it on your knee that's a little easier too so unscrew it almost all the way because it's got to like flip in and out and stick it back on there tighten this back up and then loosen this pull that leg down tighten it back up so you're just undoing all that okay got that one
awesome job, guys. Look at that. It's a briefcase again. Woo. For indoor use. I just put it up here. And then I loosen up these side ones. Unlatch the top. Whoops. And open it back up. And it is finished. So now I can grab a painting and get to work. <laughs> because I gotta finish this today. This is day 13. So this is from yesterday and I didn't finish it yet. So I'm gonna go paint this while you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more art tips, art tutorials, art videos this year coming up. I have a whole plan. Um, sign up for that. You can follow me on Instagram for quick little reels or quick little videos also of my art and where you can buy it and all that kind of stuff. All the links are below. See you guys next week. Bye.